Hello, everybody. Good to see you. I hope you've had a good break over the holidays. And let's sing hello to one another. And then we're going to talk about where we might live. Sing hello to everyone. Sing hello to everyone. Sing hello to everyone. Sing hello. Clap hello to everyone. Clap hello to everyone. Clap hello to everyone. Clap hello. And wriggle hello to everyone. Wriggle hello to everyone. Wriggle hello to everyone. Wriggle hello. So I wonder where you live. Some people live in houses. Look, here's a picture of a sort of a house. You see it's got a front door and some windows, upstairs and the downstairs. Some people live in flats. Flats are like a smaller part of a house, usually just on one level. And sometimes they're in a house and sometimes they're in a great big, 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 big block of them on top of one another. If you're lucky and you live near the top, you can see such a long way. Some people live in hotels. Some people live in tents. Some people live outside. Some people live in ice houses. You have to live somewhere very cold to live somewhere like that, made from blocks of ice. Look, there's a polar bear peeping round, and a little person coming out of the tunnel works the way into the house at the front. So many different ways to live. And I think we need to think a little bit about animals as well. And how, where do they live? Well, I expect if you've got a cat, it might be the sort of cat that just lives in your house. And if you've got a hamster or a guinea pig, it might live sometimes in a cage and sometimes in a run or maybe run around on some grass. If you've got a spider, it might live on the bathroom floor. It might be in its web. Can you see the spider there? The spider likes being in its web because that's where it catches its food inside all these sticky bits of web. And what about, oh yes, I can hear some barking. What about this dog? Now, where does the dog live? Well, in some countries, dogs just live outside. In some countries, dogs live inside the flat or the house with the people that they live with. And in some places, dogs live in kennels. Quite often, if they're working dogs that live on farms. Look, the kennel's a nice small house, nice and cosy and warm inside, usually with something soft on the ground, maybe some hay for the dogs to lie on. The dogs there look like a big grown-up dog and some baby ones. And they've got a ball to play with too. So where does a snail live? Well, it lives in the garden, but it's also got a very special home that it carries around on its back. It's a bit more like somebody with a tent, isn't it? It can go carry its shell on its back and then curl up and go inside it to keep it safe. It's a very useful sort of home to have. Lots of different places to live. Do you remember this song? It's the one about, here is my little house, here is the door. You can make them with your fingers. The windows are shiny, you can polish them like this. And so is the floor, clean the floor. Outside there's a chimney, as tall as can be, with smoke that goes curling up, come and see. Not many of the chimneys around where you live probably have smoke coming out of them anymore now because people don't really have fires to keep them warm now. They've got some kind of other heating radiators perhaps in their house if they're lucky. Maybe little electric fires. But in the old days, people used to have fires burning in a grate, a special place to keep the fire safe. And the smoke went up the chimney. Let's try that song. Here is my little house, here is the door. The windows are shiny and so is the floor. Outside there's a chimney as tall as can be. The smoke that goes curling up, come and see. You're inviting somebody in and say, come and see. So that's a good one, but what about if we were going to make a house. Oh no, hang on a minute. 
somebody calling me before we start making the house. Look, who's this? Here's a little mouse. The little mouse says, you didn't talk about me. Where do I live? Little mouse, do you live in the garden or do you live in the house? I think this is one that likes living inside people's houses. It likes to live in a little hole that it can find, maybe behind the cooker or just near to the back door so it can pop in and out. Little mouse, shall we do that poem about you? Let's have a go. See if you remember it, everybody, where you pretend that your finger is a little mouse. Here it is. And it's going to live in this hole. That's your other hand. So you can curl it over like that. Make a little hole. And then you can put the little mouse inside. And it's a funny one because it has a surprise at the end where the mouse pops out and we say, out she pops. Out pops she. Let's have a go. We'll do it twice. And then if you don't, if you don't know it now, you will, and you can do it the second time. A little mouse lived in a hole. Snug and warm in her cozy home. And all was quiet, as quiet could be. Shh. Out popped she. Let's do it again. This time you make, it, make her pop out as well. You ready, little mouse skin? A little mouse lived in a hole, snug and warm in her cosy home. And all was quiet, as quiet could be. Shh. Oh, Popsy! So, now let's have a go at making our own house. We're not going to make a snail shell house. We're going to use a box. So, grown-ups, I found a shoe box. This is a box that had a pair of shoes in it. You might have a box, a tea bag box, or a cereal box, or you might have a box that the shopping was delivered in. They're all very useful. I like this one because when I opened it out, I discovered that I could use the lid to make a garden with. So the house is at the back and the garden's at the front. And oh, look, I've got my pens out. And into the house, I did some drawing. I made a window on the back wall. I think it might be raining because there's a rainbow outside. Or maybe that's a picture on the wall, who knows? And then I drew a little carpet down there, look. I left lots of space to put some furniture. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then I used the front bit, which will of course stick out like that in front of the house. I used that bit to make my garden and I drew some grass and I put a sticker. If you've got any stickers, I had a little pot with a few stickers in it. And I put a flower growing in the grass. And then I drew a picture of what I hope looked a bit like carrots growing up like here. There's some carrots growing. And then I thought this bit could be maybe a sand pit. Maybe we can find something to make a little paddling pool there as well. So we've got a house and a garden. So what are we going to put inside our house? We might need some furniture. Well, you could use your bricks, or you could use your Lego, or your Duplo, or you could make it out of all sorts of bits and pieces that you've got at home. You might find that you've got some little boxes, maybe one that had some matches in, or one that had this one had some paper clips in it and I turned this one over I didn't use it to put anything in I made it into some drawers and a cupboard to stand up against the wall at the back of my house so that was that one and for this one I thought it might make quite a good bed a little cot maybe so one of the bits of the house could be the bedroom we could put our baby into the bed like that. And if you've got a little bit of material or maybe a tissue or a piece of kitchen paper, you can tuck her in, a bit like the day that we made beds for big dollies. Only this is a little one for the house. And then I thought we might need a table. And so I've got this top, which K 
came from, I think it was a tube this one came out of, and I thought that looked just like a little round table. Look, have a look. And then I got the top from, I think this one was from to some toothpaste. They come on the tops of tubes usually, those little tiny ones. Sometimes you might get a nice red one on tomato puree. If you put it on top, on top of the table, that could be a little pot or I decided that I'd use one of my stickers and I would make it into a plant pot sitting on my table. And we need some chairs for the people to put around the table. So I used these, I've got quite a few milk bottle tops. That comes from the top of a carton of milk. We collect lots of those. I've got absolutely loads of them at home now in keeping them all, washing them and keeping them. And then if you stand them round, they can be little seats to be next to the table. It's a lot of nice, interesting things. And, oh, look, this had some pieces of melon inside it, or I think it might be mango. And I thought that would make a really good bath for everybody to have in the house. And if you were going to make a paddling pool in the garden, maybe you could find, I found a blue lid, which I thought would be good. Top of the peanut butter is quite good as well. Look, that's the brown one. You could have a sand pit and a paddling pool in your garden. So lots of things. Let me lift it up and see if we can just put one thing inside without it all falling over and then we'll decide who's going to live in there. Let's try putting the table in. There, there's the table. And then let's try putting chair next to it. Oh yes. And then maybe we might even try putting a little person. Whoa, she's sitting to the table now. That's good, isn't it? What about that bed? Where can that go? Put the bed over here so that Nobody wakes the baby up. Oh, look, you can see our blankets moving a bit. I think she's waking up anyway. Lots and lots of things to put inside your house. What a lot of fun you can have, and you don't really need anything much at all. Some felt tip pens, a box. And as I say, you could use your Duplo or your Lego or some wooden building bricks to make bits of furniture, or you can collect up those bits and pieces. Do you remember a few weeks ago we had sticks and stones? I saved, look, one of the bits of wood and a couple of the stones because I thought those would be quite nice to put in my garden. Oh my goodness, then who on earth is going to live in it? Who will you find? I expect you've got some little people somewhere, maybe some little people with Duplo. If you haven't, you could make some little people from your grown-up could help and cut them out from pieces of paper for you. Or a little piece of cardboard from the back of the cereal packet. Or if you had any bits of pipe cleaner left, you could make little twisty people. I'm going to put some of my little play people in. Here they are. They're all coming up. Oh, there's the dog there. <laughs> there's a dog wants to go in the house. Little dog, I think you can play in the garden. I wonder if we'd have to make a kennel for you. You remember there was a kennel. I haven't got a horse, so we won't have to make a stable. We didn't talk about that, did we? Where's that baby? Let's bring her up. There she is. Got lots of people all queuing up to get into the house. Oh, and that little one that was sitting on the chair, where's she? There they are. Dogs barking again. Coming up. Can you see? They're just peeping over my fingers. Oh, that one's got a ball in her hand. I wonder if she's going to play ball in the garden. The mum's looking a little bit, oh my goodness me, what's everybody doing? So let's sing them a song about making them a lovely house before it's time for us to go. Let's make a lovely house, a lovely house, a lovely house. Let's make a lovely house for all our little people. There we are. When you're making, you can sing that song to yourself. La 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 la. Let's make a lovely house for all our little people. Have fun making it. And grown-ups, if you have a look in the newsletter, you'll see a 
picture of the house when it's got all the bits inside it. And that might give you some ideas. I think they're all the bits that we've just been using now. Okay, time for us to say goodbye. See you all soon. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye. Bye from dog. Bye from mouse. Bye from Judy and Claire in the toy library. And see you soon.